Urada, good morning to you all. Croeso e bore already. Welcome to our morning prayer. Before we start the service, I'd like to remind you of a few announcements. Kimoni Dachre Bosanith, Ruyam Kohevi, Pivatach Felarver. This Sunday, Reverend Adam will be doing leading us in morning prayer at the usual time of nine o'clock and um, you will find that in our Rose and Claire Facebook page. And then at 10 o'clock Archdeacon Dorian will be taking a service and that will be found on St Mary Magdalene's own Facebook page. And then at 12 noon Father Chris will be taking his Holy Eucharist service and that will be on Zoom. So if you would like to join us for that, um, you need to contact either myself or Canon Ann or Fa uh, Father Chris directly and then we'll organise it for you. And then we go on then to next Tuesday with Canon Ann's usual weekly message and that will be on at 11 a.m. on our Rose and Claire, uh, on our uh, Rose and Claire Facebook page. Tomorrow afternoon, we are having our second session of Cafe Church. And tomorrow at uh, two o'clock, Reverend Adam will be leading the event which is going to be an informal session of Bible study and prayer. Please join us. Um, if you haven't contacted um, Reverend Adam or Canon Ann to have the link, uh, it's not too late. You're quite welcome to do so. The more we are, the better, the merrier. That's all you need to do is bring your cup of coffee with you to your computer, laptop or phone or whatever instrument you use. Can I ask you just to take a few moments to gather your thoughts just before we start? Our morning prayer. You can follow the service either on our Rose and Claire Facebook page or if you have the green morning prayer book most of it is in that beginning on page 24 and 26 and 25 to 27. They may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Arglwydd a gorein gweddysau an genau a fynega dyfoliant gogondiant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbry glan fel y ddroedd yn y dechrau y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad yn oes oesoedd. Amen. Early in the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Rwyt yn llyfari yn fynghalon ac yn dweud. Ceisiaf y wyneb. Am hynny, ceisiaf dy wyneb o arglwydd. Crys trigar ha. Crys trigar ha. 
Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And the appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 92, found on page 513 in the Green Book. Oh, we shall read it together. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your love early in the morning and on your faithfulness in the night time. Upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the harp and to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your acts, and I sing aloud at the works of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works, your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do the fools understand. That though the wicked sprout like grass and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed forever, but you, O Lord, shall be exalted forevermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild oxen. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes. My ears shall hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Such are the planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and full of leaf. They that, that, that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Dawr da llenia cyntaf a llan o lyfr y barnwyr, penod 16, ar nodau 4 i'r diwedd. The first reading come from the, comes from the Old Testament, from the Book of Judges. Chapter 16, verses 4 to the end. Sometime later, he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, See if you can lure him into showing you the secret of his great strength and how we can overpower him so we may tie him up and subdue him. Each one of us will give you 1,100 shekels of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Tell me the secret of your great strength and how you can be tied up and subdued. Samson answered her, If anyone ties me with seven fresh bowstrings that have not been dried, I become as weak as any other man. Then the rulers of the Philistines brought her seven fresh bowstrings that had not been dried, and she tied him with them. With men hidden in the room, she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. But he snapped the bowstrings as easily as a piece of string snaps when it comes close to a flame. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Then Delilah said to Samson, You have made a fool of me. You lied to me. Come now, tell me how you can be tied. He said, If anyone ties me securely with new ropes that have never been used, I'll become as weak as any other man. 
So Delilah took new ropes and tied him with them. Then with men hidden in the room, she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. But he snapped the ropes off his arms as if they were threads. Delilah then said to Samson, All this time you have been making a fool of me and lying to me. Tell me how you can be tied. He replied, If you weave the seven braids of my head into the fabric on the loom and tighten it with the pin, I'll become as weak as any other man. So while he was sleeping, Delilah took the seven braids of his head, wove them into the fabric and tightened it with the pin. Again she called to him, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He awoke from his sleep and pulled up the pin and the loom with the fabric. Then she said to him, How can you say I love you when you won't confide in me? This is the third time you have made a fool of me and haven't told me the secret of your great strength. With such nagging, she prodded him day after day until he was sick to death of it. So he told her everything. No razor has ever been used on my head, he said, because I have been a Nazarite dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head was shaved, my strength would leave me and I would become as weak as any other man. When Delilah saw that he had told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philistines. Come back once more, he has told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines returned with the silver in their hands. After putting him to sleep on her lap, she called for someone to shave off the seven braids of his hair, so began to subdue him, and his strength left him. Then she called Samson, she called, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He awoke from his sleep and thought, I'll go out as before and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. Then the Philistines seized him, gorged out his eyes and took him down to Gaza, biding him with bronze shackles. With bronze shackles. They set him to grinding grain in the prison. But the hair on his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. Now the rulers of the Philistines assembled to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon, their god, and to celebrate, saying, Our god has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. When the people saw him, they praised their god, saying, Our god has delivered our enemy into our hands the one who laid waste our land and multiplied our slain. While they were in high spirit, they shouted, Bring out Samson to entertain us. So they called Samson out of the prison, and he performed from them. When they stood him among the pillars, Samson said to the servant who led his hand, Put me where I can feel the pillars that support the temple, so that I may lean against them. Now the temple was crowded with men and with men. All the rulers of the Philistines were there. And on the roof were about 3,000 men and women watching Samson perform. Then Samson prayed to the Lord. Sovereign Lord, remember me. Please God, strengthen me just once more and let me with one blow get revenge on the Philistines for my two eyes. Then Samson reached towards the two central pillars on which the temple stood. Bracing himself against them, his right hand on the one and his left hand on the other, Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. Then he pushed with all his might, and down came the temple on the rulers and all the people in it. Thus he killed many more when he died than when he lived. Then his brothers and his father's whole family went down to get him. 
they brought him back and buried him between Zora and Eshtar in the tomb of Manoah, his father. He had led Israel 20 years. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. We shall say together the Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. We shall say it in Welsh. The way Dunga Dangili Canticle or Evangelia Benedictus. Bendigedig with the Arglui de Israel. Ami the well di bobble, I prenier of it. Codod were a digai cadar ni me, and he dabi they was. Bella Cavaro, Troy Nai Brocuidi Sanctae, and Roysoi Avi. Quaredi Gai Fragen Galinion, a coavai pau, said the name Casai. Bell Hin the Camero, Jugare, the Avin Hinaviai, a hovio egg of Amor Sanctae. A who would and mother the Abra main tart, a rodai ni Galin Hachibo avai Galinion. I have only in the oven Mount St. Tethroy, Achavounder, Berevrone, or the Diane Bowit. A fifth I have lent him, Belwir D and Profri de Gorichad, or Herwit the Incarded of Liner Arglud, E. Baratoy and Umbrain. It all you bobble, we both die from where he died, to Ivadea and Tate the Hodai. Hin you to Gare, Calon in Dew. Be thou war wawdi ddod i chod i'n pyr. I lewyrchu'r er hai sy'n eistedd yn y wyllwch cysgwng yr angau, a chyfeirio ein traed i'r ffordd tan nifer. Cogoniant i'r tad, ac i'r map, ac i'r ysbryd glan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau, y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oesoedd. Amen. The second reading from Luke, chapter 18, verses 31 to, end, to the end, which I will read in Welsh. Rai fel lleniad o'r testament newydd, o lig penod un deg wyth, ad nodau tri deg un i'r diwedd. Mae thiasu ar deuddeg disgybl i'r naill ochr, a dweud wrth un o'n. Pan cyrraedd ni Jerusalem, daw'r cwbl mae'r proffwydi wedi ysgrifennu am dana i, mab y dyn yn wir. Byddai yn cael fy rhoi yn nwylo i'r hyfeiniad. Byddai nhw'n gwneud sport yn fy mhen, yn fy nham drin ac yn poeri i'r naid. Yna byddai yn cael fy chwipio am llaw. Ond yna, ddei ddydd wedyn, but I endured an all and view. So the discipline them and they are in the cobble. So the cobble and their gallop peer in the hole. And so it can then hold them sinia than bear through the encharad. When I the seen a gossip at Jericho, the Madin dash by the conductor of her apart and close it soon to the or bubble and pass your hego. And the Madin go in. Beth sy'n digwydd? Beth sy'n yw'n arall Nazareth sy'n pasio heigo meddai rhywun wrtho? Felly dyma'r dyn dall yn gweiddi nichel. Yes, sy, fab da fi, helpa fi. Yn cael digeg meddai'r bobl oedd ar flaen y dyrfa. Ond yn lle hynny, dechreu oedd weiddi ni wchwyr. Yes, sy, fab da fi, helpa fi. Dyma Iesu yn stopio, ac yn dweud wrth un nhw am ddod ar dyn ato. Pan ddaeth ato, gofynnodd i'r dyn, beth gai i wneud i ti ar glwyd meddai, dwi eisiau gallu gweld. 
yn y dywedodd iesu wrdo. Iawn, ceid i weld, am i ti gredu rwy'ch wedi deiachau. Yn sydyn roedd y dyn yn gweld a dilynodd iesu gan foli diw. Ac roedd pawb welodd beth y gwyddodd yn moli diw hefyd. Dyma air yr arglwyd. Diolf a fwy i ddiw. Y cantigl y bore yma yw cantigl trideg chwech. Mae ar dydalun cant 84 yn y llyfr gwyrdd. The canticle this morning is canticle 36, found on page 185 in the Green Book. And we shall say it together in English. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Be known to everyone for your consideration of others. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious. But in everything, make your requests known to God in prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Then the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray with you. Almighty and eternal God, bless us as we celebrate the beginning of this new day and direct our eyes heavenward and pray that we draw close to God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God protects us as our Creator. Christ is in us, and that the Spirit within inspires us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Maranatha. In the diocese and intercessions for today, we pray for the churches and communities on Llanstadwell, Burton and Rose Market in the Rus LMA, and for the churches and communities of Herbuston, Herbranston and Stainton, also in the Rus local ministry area. And in the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Episcopal Church in Northern California and the Right Reverend Barry Beisner. And in Nigeria, we pray for Baghdadi and the Right Reverend Joseph Adiemi. And in Australia, for Ballarat, the Right Reverend Gary Weatherhill. And for Archbishop John and all bishops within our province especially Bishop Joanna and all clergy and staff of the Diocese of St. David's. Especially now as they meet to decide the way forward at this difficult time, we ask you, Lord, to guide them and encourage them to make the correct decisions regarding opening the churches for services to begin again. O Dio, Ar loesur y ffyrdd newydd, ceidwad y ffyrdd hynafol, ac arweinydd ar ffyrdd anhysbys. Disg yr eglwys yn ysgobaeth ti ddewi, i ddeall a byw newyddion da ein iachoduriaeth a dda goswyd i ni gan ein harglwydd am goredwr Iesu Grist. Llanwan i atholeini, Gwnna'n un barteriaid yn dy gynhadaeth i adlewyrchu diogoniant ym mhob dill a môr. 
Urpitioleo e Buwedai. Quevio na dao a spritolia theerai, fi dilin and de luibrai. Neso the ua dao po bean, e gerved and de wirioner, ar hanni de vawid. Dan roi a volia di ti, a nerf of a spriglan, an oi soi soi. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for our own local ministry area, for our clergy, for Canon Ann, Father Chris, Reverend Adam, Reverend Carol, and Reverend Lorna. We ask you, Lord, to guide them and support them all, whatever responsibilities they have within the church structure as they step out each day to minister to the needs of their congregation. And we pray that they all receive God's grace and strength as they minister to the needs of God's children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless and guide Elizabeth, our Queen, Give wisdom to all in authority in Westminster and in Cardiff. We pray that you, Lord God, guide all those who govern in deciding correctly regarding the coronavirus. We pray for the troubled parts of the world affected by illness, war, famine, natural disasters, human torture, and the Christians all over the world who are victimized. And we pray for the schools in our communities as they approach the end of this extraordinary school year. We pray for staff that they may find rest and refreshment. For all pupils, especially those facing times of transition. We pray with thanksgiving for the NHS on the week we celebrated its 72nd birthday. And we continue to pray for all who work within it and for all facing continue, continued stress and strain due to the COVID-19 outbreak. As lockdown continues to ease, we pray for those returning to work and we pray for those facing economic hardship and uncertainty as we begin to face the financial realities caused by the global pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nid yw cariad yn darfod byth, hyd yn oed yn yr adegau mwyaf tywyll. My cariad yn rhoi gobaith. My cariad yn ein cymell i frwydro yn erbyn y coravirus ar y cyd gyda'n brodi'r anchwiori ar hyd a lled y byd. Mae cariad yn ein cymell i sefyll mewn gweddi gyda'n cymdogion yn agos a phell. Mae cariad yn ein cymell i roi ac i weithredu fel un. Mae'n gwbl glir bod ein dyfodod yng Nghwlwm yn dynach an gilydd na gerioed. Wrth i ni wedi o yn ei cartrefu unigol ar draws y wlad ac ar hyd y lled y byd. Y rydym yn cael ein huno un teulu. Lord, this pandemic has shaken us to the foundations. It has challenged our comfortable complacency, bringing home to us just how, how fragile is the way of life we took for granted. How easily it can descend into chaos. How vulnerable we are to forces outside of our control and how swiftly this world can be turned upside down. Protect us, we pray, from further infections of this sort, from diseases we may as yet know nothing about, perhaps evolving even now, 
and be known to us. Save us from more viruses crossing from animals to humans with a potentiality devastating consequences that might have. We have been shot to the core, rocked onto our back heels, and another pandemic would be too much to cope with, taking us to the brink and beyond. Guide scientists, researchers, health experts and leaders that all may be alert to any such possible threats and equip them to neutralize them should they arise. Watch over us, dear Lord, and keep us safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With you, Nami Bobolder Nabod, Aki we bod on the Ras, Cariad, Amareant. Urfiti Drevni Agor in Egluisi, Noiveto, Gadeo Kini with the Yotros Pau, Ermuin Agor in Hinain, and Neuid, Bodir, Irdius of the Nantari. I can bod and Kailin Adna with thee, Gadaras Brigram. Lord God, we ask for the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we spend time of prayer and listening to your voice in the peace of our own homes. Make us aware of your presence and love. Open our hearts and our minds so that we may hear your message and inspire us to serve you more faithfully in our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we place our own personal prayers into God's tender care, let us not forget our families near or far, our church family, our neighbours, our friends, who are always in our thoughts and prayers. And as we pray, we thank God for family life, for love and friendship. And we ask that you might open our ears to hear the voices of those calling out in distress. Our eyes to the glaring needs around us. Our minds to the possibilities of what the new kingdom can offer. And our hearts in love. We pray for those within our church family, for Tommy, Rosemary, Jean, Bert, Catherine, Huel, Philip Hughes, Liz John, Fred Poole, and also all those who come to mind and are held in our hearts. Give them the strength and courage to face whatever is in front of them. We give thanks for all those who have recovered from this virus and those who have not succumbed to its viciousness. Diolch i ti ddiw am brodi nerth i bawb sydd yn gwella o bob a fiechyd ac i'r holl bobl sydd yn gweithio yn yr ysbytau a pob fath o unedau sydd yn delio gyda fiechydon. We pray for all those people who are waiting for specific treatments and surgery. Gwynnwn i ti ddiw am o bali am danid a dangos y ffordd i ddynt wynebu y gobi dyma. We remember the dying, those who mourn, and those whose anniversary of their passing at this time. I remember especially the late Peter Davis, whose funeral is this week, and we remember his family in our prayers this morning. 
Lord Jesus, gentle shepherd who brings rest to our souls, give peace to all who have died forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray to the Father who is full of compassion and love, as Christ has taught us. With you, Nararagluis, sin Town Tostiri, Achariad, Bella Discoth Christini. And we shall pray in whichever language we prefer. Our Father, ain't hard, a runuit and a nevoy, Sante de Adeno, Bella de Denas. Nele de Wussis, Maggie Sunene, Bethy Rebe Yar Hebit, the Roini Heru in Barra Pinavion, a mother in the Intelledion, Belmadan Unina in the Ledwe, Aknakarwai near Provedigai, if it were near her true, than is it or Tio Denas, Argashi, Argogonyat, and Oisoiso. Amen. <clears throat> and the collect for today. Gracious Father, by the obedience of Jesus, you brought salvation to our wayward world. Draw us into harmony with your will, that we may find all things restored in him, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for peace, a collect am dangnever. O deo, au deo tangnever, a charor catinder. A maider nabo di and vowit of with all, but was an aithi and rudvid perfai. Am thifinir a coach of Monsieur Diada Yengalinion. Bellan in nine huir and buried and the noded. Nadog no nashi neb on with funebuir. To Yesi Christ, stain hard to it. Amen. And the collect for grace. O Lord and Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for bringing us safely to the beginning of this new day. Defend us by your mighty power that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger and enable us in everything to do only what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I am with you always, even to the end of time. Be with us today, Lord, as we offer ourselves to you. Hear our prayers for others and ourselves, and keep us in your tender loving care always. Amen. And we shall gather our prayers together and end this time of worship by saying the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you for being there for me, for joining and giving me the strength to take the service. Can I wish you all a safe day and as the restrictions are being lifted, take care and if you are travelling, have a safe journey. I know that some of you are intending to visit family, which is such a blessing. We've missed our family so much. Good morning to you all.